My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We are in the season of Lent, and Lent is a time of grace. It is a time to come back to the Lord and renewing our commitment with Him. We pray for all your personal intentions, especially praying for all those who are in need of God's grace, mercy and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, Eternal Father, and grant that, seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verses 16 to 19. You will be a people consecrated to the Lord. Moses said to the people, the Lord your God today commands you to observe these laws and customs. You must keep and observe them with all your heart and all your soul. You have today made this declaration about the Lord, that He will be your God, but only if you follow His ways, keep His statutes, His commandments, His ordinances, and listen to His voice. And the Lord has today made the declaration about you that you will be his very own people as he promised you but only if you keep all his commandments then for praise and renown and honor he will set you high above all the nations he has made and you will be a people consecrated to the Lord as he promised. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm They are happy who follow God's law. They are happy who follow God's law. They are happy whose life is blameless who follow God's law. They are happy who do his will seeking him with all their hearts. Response They are happy who follow God's law. You have laid down your precepts to be obeyed with care. May my footsteps be firm to obey your statutes. Response They are happy who follow God's law. I will thank you with an upright heart as I learn your decrees. I will obey your statutes. Do not forsake me. Response They are happy who follow God's law. Gospel acclamation Praise and honor to you Lord Jesus. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Praise and honor to you Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you O Lord. Chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 Jesus said to his disciples You have learned how it was said You must love your neighbor and hate your enemy But I say this to you Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you In this way you will be sons of your father in heaven for he causes his son to rise on bad men as well as good and his rain to fall on honest and dishonest men alike for if you love those who love you what right have you to claim any credit even the tax collectors do as much do they not and if you save your greetings for your brothers are you doing anything exceptional even the pagans do as much do they not you must therefore be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters if we are to walk in the way of our lord we are challenged to love unconditionally it means to go against the current to put love where there is no love to sow peace where there is discord and to be reconciled with those who consider as their enemies can we go beyond what others do by blessing and praying for them to be like jesus we must have the love of jesus in our hearts can we surrender the difficult moments to jesus and ask him to set us free to love our enemies and ask him to set us free to love our enemies with god all things are possible lord jesus change my heart towards those i distrust and those who have harmed me in word and deed amen
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations, may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. On all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never ceases to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us unending life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. Savior and Lord
Father.